The 10 News cameras were there as police arrested a man who crashed a car and ran onto a nearby school campus. This is breaking news we first told you about on the Now at 4. The wild chain of events forced Gompers Prep Academy, Millennial Tech Middle School, and Horton Elementary in Choice View to go on lockdown. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us with breaking details about that man taken into custody. Rachel. Lindsay, it's frightening to think that that man was actually able to climb over that fence and get into a bathroom here on the school campus. We just learned that he was driving with a suspended license. That may be why he would not pull over, but we also know this isn't the first time he's been under arrest. The announcements coming from a sheriff's helicopter hovering over 47th Street. On the ground, deputies used dogs to search Gompers Prep Academy. The school on lockdown. People who live and work nearby watched and worried. That scared me because the whole morning I hear the helicopter, you know, uh, running everywhere and talking. I said, what happened? But now I see all the police. I said, gosh, what happened? Police eventually found the man hiding in a bathroom in the middle of Gompers campus. He looked disoriented as he was loaded into the back of a patrol car. Deputies say this all started when they tried to pull over Raheem Jackson for speeding on the 94. He crashed his car at the Euclid exit and then ran onto the school campus. Gompers and two other nearby schools all put on lockdown. Parents got an automated phone call. Some rushed to the campus to find out what was going on. Yeah, I have my kid. I was at work and he called me. You know what I mean? I got to check on my boy. First thing I have to do is my boy. You know what I mean? They don't tell me nothing. They, I call the office and they're like, oh, everything's under control. A lot of concern, parents. We looked up Jackson's background and found that he does have a lengthy criminal history. We can't access the details of those cases so late in the day, but deputies say he can now add felony evading to that list. They also say he was not armed. Reporting live in Choice View, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Our free mobile app kept 10 News viewers updated on the school lockdown.